today we're looking at this Thermal Take liquid cooler, which not only looks sexy with its RGB lighting, infinity mirror CPU block, it actually performs incredibly well. Introducing the TH360 V2 ARGB Sync All-in-One Liquid Cooler by Thermaltake. It comes in snow white and black versions, with sizes ranging from 120mm all the way up to 420mm. The cooler features a sleek design, vibrant ARGB lighting and easy installation, ensuring optimal temperatures for gamers and professionals. The packaging is black and grey with the product image front and centre. Most information is on the front of the box with additional details on the back. There's also a QR code on the side for more information. Inside the box you'll find the main cooler. Free CT120 ARGB fans, an installation manual, all necessary backplates and fittings, as well as an ARGB connector cover clips to prevent cable detachment. All the cabling on our model is white, including the connectors. The CPU block pump cables are 40cm each, with an additional ARGB connector at 10cm. The fan cables are 8cm to the first connector and another 8cm to the second, allowing easy daisy chaining. Extension cables for PWM and ARGB are 80cm to the first connector and then 20cm to the second. Make sure your motherboard or case or you have a controller that has ARGB connectors for lighting effects. Otherwise, the lighting effects will not work if you do not have some sort of ARGB controller connector. The CT120 ARGB fans match the performance of the non-ARGB versions, which we previously reviewed and found excellent. They feature a single piece plastic frame with rubberized corners to reduce vibrations. The radiator is white with a dense layout and includes a refill hole, although no extra liquid is provided. It measures 396mm long, 27mm deep with no fans, obviously when you add the fans that makes it 51mm and 120mm wide. The tubing is straightforward, it's got a white mesh sleeve for a clean look. The CPU block is mainly white with an infinity mirror and movable joints which are black for the tubing. The infinity mirror features a rotatable logo with ARGB effects, visible regardless of how you mount it. The ARGB fans shine brightly, mainly illuminating the fan blades. The infinity mirror on the CPU block is somewhat dim and can be overshadowed by the fan lighting, even in dim and bright environments. This cooler is compatible with most motherboards out there, including Intel's LGA 2066, 2011, 1700, 1200, 1156, 1155, 1151 and 1150. On top of that, it also supports AM5, AM4, AM3, AM3+, AM2, and AM2+. So down to testing. Most of the information you'll need is on the screen here, but in basics, the same system, same components is used for every single test, with the same updates, with the internet disabled, so nothing in the background can interfere, and the only programs installed are ones that are needed for doing the testing. Each test is run three times for 30 minutes each. We use Passmark Burning Test for making sure that the CPU cores are loaded to 100% all the time. The testing is done in a separate room which is set to 21.5 degrees Celsius. It is climate controlled as well as sound treated. So down to the test results. We're testing this against three other coolers, which are all 360mm coolers. We've got the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2FX, as well as the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 and the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3. 
In this first test, we're checking the actual CPU temperature when the fan speed, that includes a pump, of the cooler are running at 50% speed, and we get the average temperature. And as you can see here, the thermal take cooler comes in roughly middle of the pack. On this next test, we're doing basically exactly the same thing again, but instead of getting the average temperature, we're getting the maximum temperature the CPU gets up to. And again, the thermal take cooler comes in, well, joint last between three of the others. So not the best result while it's running at 50% fan speed, but again, still enough to cool down a top-end i9 processor. Now this is where we up the game, we set the fan speeds including the pumps to 100% speed and as you can see here with the fans running at 100% fan speed, the average temperature, the thermal take cooler actually beats out all the others running at 68 degrees which is definitely an achievement considering it's beaten the new arctic liquid freezer 3 which performed extremely well in our tests. So same test again, but this time we're setting the fan speeds at 100%, but we're checking for the maximum temperature. And the thermal take cooler comes in joint first place with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, which again is one hell of an achievement, which is 5 degrees better than the Be Quiet cooler and 5 degrees better than the older Liquid Freezer 2. Now on the next two tests we are checking the noise level, so first time we're testing it when the fans and the pump are running at 50% speed. And as you can see here, the thermal take cooler again beats out the Arctic and Be Quiet coolers by a couple of decibels, which is actually a very good achievement. Now we're checking the decibel levels with the fan and pump running flat out at 100%. Bear in mind, all the other fans on the system are disabled. That includes the graphics card and power supply. And as you can see here, we've got 46 decibels from the thermal take. That's one decibel better than the newer liquid freezer. In conclusion, the Thermal Take TH3060 V2 ARGB Sync All in One Liquid Cooler exceeded our expectations. It performed better than we anticipated, going head to head with the new Arctic Freezer Free Coolers. With its vibrant ARGB lighting, sleek design, and easy installation, this cooler is an excellent addition for any PC setup. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.